Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to run the latest version of Java that is Java 17 in your favorite Visual Studio Code editor. So let's begin. Now to run the latest version of Java in your favorite Visual Studio Code editor, you need to first download two software. One is Java 17 and another is Visual Studio Code itself. So for that you need to first simply go to your favorite browser and in the address bar you need to just simply type JDK download then enter and then you'll be seeing this www.oracle.com is basically our first search result. So just simply click on this link and this you're going to redirect you to this official site of JDK in here if you just scroll down a bit you will be getting these three tabs one is Linux then Mac OS and Windows since we are going to download Java for Windows we are going to you know move to Windows tab and then just simply click on this MSI installer for Java so just you know simply click on that and this will you know going to start downloading our Java right since I have already downloaded it I just you know simply cancel it so in this way you can easily download your Java right and the next software that is required is Visual Studio Code itself so for that just simply type Visual Studio download and you will be getting this code.visualstudio.com as our first search result so just you know simply click on this download Visual Studio Code and this is you know, going to redirect you to this official site of Visual Studio Code. You can clearly see we are currently in the uh, official page of Visual Studio Code. And in here, we have these three operating systems. One is Windows, then Mac. Uh, sorry, this is the Linux one. And this is the Mac OS, right? So in here, um, we are going to download Visual Studio Code for Windows. So just you know, simply click on that and this is you know, going to say thanks for downloading and you can clearly see our visual studio code has been rightly started downloading since i have already downloaded it i just you know simply cancel it and i'll just minimize my browser and if i go to my download directory you can clearly see we have rightly downloaded these two software one is java jdk 17 and another is visual studio code itself now it's time to install our java so for that just simply double click on the installation file of Java and you can clearly see our Java installation has been wizard has been rightly open so let's first minimize our download directory then just simply click on next then again next and you can clearly see our JDK installation has been rightly begun. This will also ask you for this will also ask you for administrative privileges so for that just simply click on yes and it will you know going to start downloading our Java. So this might take a couple of minutes. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back after installing Java. Yeah. So we'll come back and now then clearly see our Java has been successfully installed. So just you know simply click on close. And then you need to again uh, go back to your C drive, then go to program files, and then you need to just simply go inside this Java folder, then you'll be seeing this JDK 17 folder. So just you know, simply go inside that folder and then you need to just simply go inside this bin folder, right? And then you need to just simply click on this address bar, then right click on it and copy. And then all you need to do is you need to just, you know, simply click on this search icon and in here you need to just simply type environ and you'll be getting this edit the system environment variables. So just, you know, simply click on that and you will be getting the system properties window rightly open so just you know simply click on environment variables then you need to just simply click on path and then edit and this is you know, going to open this edit environment variables window and then you need to just simply click on new then right click on it and paste right so we are basically going to paste the c program file java slash jdk 17 slash bin path over here and then just simply click on ok so now that our JDK path has been rightly set, it's time to set our Java home. So for that, just simply click on new and then you need to just here simply type Java underscore home. And then in the variable value, you need to again right click on it and paste. But remember this time we don't want to paste this bin. So we'll just delete that, right? So we are going to only paste till JDK 17, right? For our Java home and then just simply click on OK and then again OK and then again OK 
right and now if we again simply click on the search icon and this time if we just simply type cmd then enter and now if you just simply type java space dash dash version then enter you can clearly see the latest version of java 17 has been rightly installed on our machine right so in this way you can easily install the latest version of java now i'll show you how to install visual studio code editor right so for that let us first go back to our software directory so here we have this visual studio code so just you know simply double click on it to basically start installing our visual studio code if you have already installed visual studio code previously then you can just skip this part right i am going to you know show you this for some other users who haven't installed a visual studio code previously right so first you need to accept this license agreement then just simply click on next and you can keep everything as default then just simply click on next and then again next and you can always check this you know create a desktop icon and this is very important you need to check this add to path right this is already coming checked by default so do not uncheck or do anything like that keep everything as a default and then just simply click on next and now it's telling that is ready to be installed so just you know simply click on install and you can clearly see our installation has been rightly begun again uh, this might take a couple of minutes so what i'll be doing is i'll be again coming back after installing microsoft visual studio code yeah so we'll come back and now as you can clearly see our microsoft visual studio code has been rightly installed so just you know simply click on finish to basically launch our microsoft visual studio code and you can clearly see our microsoft visual studio code is now currently launch so just you know simply maximize it and you can clearly see our latest version that is released in august 2021 has been rightly installed on our machine right so just you know simply close this you can also close this welcome right now it's time to install one plugin so for that you need to just simply click on this extensions icon and in here you need to just simply type java extension and we'll be getting this extension pack for java right so all you need to do is you need to just you know simply click on this install and you can clearly see it will you know going to install all these extensions pack as well so and it is developed by microsoft itself so it's completely safe and sound right and you can clearly see all these files are currently installing so the thing is you need to have an active internet connection right throughout this installation right so you know again uh, th this might take a couple of minutes so i'll be again coming back after installing this yeah so welcome back and now as you can see our extension pack for java has been rightly installed so it's time to create a file so for that just you know simply go to this explorer and then you need to just simply click on this open folder right and this will you know going to open this window in here it is just simply go to this documents directory and then you need to just simply click on this new folder and then just you know simply give a folder name as java practice right so you are practicing java so you are naming java practice as a folder name then just you know simply select this folder and you can see that our java practice folder has been rightly selected over here you can expand it a little to you know uh, for proper visibility and all and then you need to just simply click on this icon new file and then you need to give a file name so let's give the file name as a hello world dot java right and then just simply click on enter and you can clearly see our hello world dot java has been rightly opened over here now it's time to write a simple hello world code snippet so for that just you know simply write a class by naming hello world and then you can and now main so just you know simply type main and if you just simply click on enter you can clearly see this public static void main has already been you know came by default and now it's time to write a simple you know system dot out dot println so and we are basically going to print hello world right so hello world and now all you need to do is just you know simply go to file then save and now if you just simply click on this run icon 
you can clearly see it has you know rightly started compiling the firewall it has been telling that it has blocked some features so you need to just you know, simply uh, click on this allow access so it's not a big deal so just simply click on this allow access and you can clearly see our hello world has been rightly shown in our console right so in this way you can easily install java 17 you know windows standard operating system along with visual studio code and all you need to do is you need to just you know simply install this plugin right that i have just shown you this extension pack for java and right and then you can easily write any code snippet in java and you can easily run them right so that's basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video then please give it a like and also please do share it with your friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all